Chicken boy, me and welcome back to another tutorial. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, this tutorial is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna be uh showing you guys like what I go through to like record a uh, bass, and you guys, you guys are like, wow, it sounds good. But like, to be honest, I just use this this little iRig, it only costs like 30 bucks, and you just connect it to your phone, and that's pretty much it. The rest is history. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys like what apps I use and um like how I how I mix the bass. So let's get it. Oh and uh go check out my merch. Yes sir, yes sir at slapthatshit.com. Uh can't thank you guys enough for for helping me get this far, you know? And yeah, let's let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so I wasn't finna go <laughs> screen record this. This is my old phone. Um it's a little Samsung. I don't even know how to screen record on it. But yeah. Um I use uh I use BandLab. Loki I I like BandLab more than uh than GarageBand because GarageBand be restricting a lot of things. Like you have to pay for it bro and that's what I don't like. They offer everything and it's free. So yeah, let's get it. Um, so you're gonna wanna go to import file. That's what I do. And then, well, first you wanna download the song. You know, uh, these are the songs that I got downloaded. And this, and this pick five. Yes, sir. And yeah, it's pretty much what I do. You use the imported track in the background. And then you, boom, put what you're gonna cover. The bass, the, the guitar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, connect your iRig. You got to connect the the instrument to the iRig, and then you need some headphones. Bro, I got some cheap cheap little headphones that I be using. These are the ones that that came with the phone. Only only one side works, and this side about to <laughs> this side about to stop working. I'm gonna have to get some some new earphones. But yeah. Balling on a budget, you feel me? So you you don't need money to make things sound good, bro. So. All right, yeah. So I got this track open. Shout out compa Willan. Shout out Clave A for this banger. Is yes, there? So I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what I be doing, bro. So let me see. Let's hear it first. Let me click. Let me click on the effects. So I, look, here, I have a preset. Let me check. I don't, I, have, I don't have the preset on here But yeah, this is This is what I use, the graphic EQ This is what, pretty much <laughs> Yo, you can see me on the screen No, but Oh, fuck, let me go over it But, um, what's it called? <laughs> yeah, so the graphic EQ Is what I use, this is pretty much What gets your, like The tone so these are these are you're gonna be your lows, these are your highs. It goes from high right here to low. And basically this is just the bass, you know, mid and then the treble. And that's how you get your tone. I honestly I don't know what I'm doing, but I just be playing with it. This is another equalizer. Uh, so it pretty much just gets your tone. This is just a compressor. And then what is this? Reverb. So yeah, I don't I don't really use that no more. I use this one. I use a, my own preset, the two two two. Yes sir, I tell as you know. It sounds more cleaner. Um. So yeah, I still use the graphic EQ. It's just different, set different. Yeah, I still use the e EQ three, whatever that is. Is you, I I like having the highs like more up than the lows because on the Kingman like it has that thick like it has that thick sound already so you don't really need the lows too too high and this is just the noise gate so what the noise gate does is like um if you have like um I don't know how to explain it if your gain is too high or something and it, it's gonna sound distorted you feel me this takes away the like all the distortedness and all that and this is just reverb. Let me go back. So let me show y'all 
like let me show you like what it like what everything does so the graphic the graphic eq is like the most important like what will make it this is your tone right here you feel me yo my bad i had <laughs> i had it in the video because i ran out of storage but but yeah hold on look i'm gonna just select the part where i'm slapping it that way you guys could just you guys could just hear how the Oh, look, you can hear how the, like, what everything does, you feel me? So, I selected a part. I'm gonna go back to the fix. Alright, watch out. No moments. Alright, so look. Like I said, these are your highs. Watch the bass go down. All you hear is the. All you hear is the trouble, and this is what happens when you. It kind of sounds like an electric bass. This is what happens when you take all the highs. Your mids are still up. Let me see. I'm going to increase the level. The level just increases, like, how how present the, the graphic EQ is. That's, that's what I think. <laughs> but, yeah. I just be playing with it, to be honest. Oh, shit. Like, I'm not a sound engineer, you feel me, but... I mean, it sounds good to me. So, yeah, honestly, like, this is... There's not really much to else to tell you guys. Like, I just be playing with it. But, yeah, keep my school folder. Yay! But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. All right, guys, that was it for the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope it wasn't too confusing. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, my setup is pretty, pretty ghetto, but shit. Like, I'm just trying to prove that you don't really need that much to to make shit sound good, you feel me? So, and so yeah, and with mixing, just play, like, play around with it. That's what I would do. Like, when I, when I first started mixing, my stuff didn't sound good, so, you know, don't even trip. Just, like, keep playing with it, and you'll find your sound eventually, you feel me? So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, go check out my, mer my merch at slapthatshit.com. And, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys.